Okay, so let's take a look at the resize method for the hash. So remember that our hash is an array of linked lists, and as we start adding things, our hash gets fuller and fuller. And what we want to try and avoid is having so much data in our hash that our complexity goes from constant time, where we just go to the right location and say, do we have the thing, to where we have to go to the position in the array, and then we have to iterate down through many, many things in our linked list. And the way that we avoid that is when the hash starts getting full, we make a much bigger array, let's say twice the size, and we move everything over. But we can't just take the first element in position 0 in this array and move this element to position 0 in the new array. Why not? Because the reason that this thing is here is that we start with the key, we get the hash code, we make it positive, and then we mod it on the table size. And because we're modding it on the table size, this table size only has five buckets in it. This table size has a lot more buckets in it. And so that element may start off in position zero in the old hash, but it may end up over here in the new hash. So what we have to do is to create our new array of linked lists, just like we've done in our constructor, and then iterate through, take everything out of our linked list, uh, out of our hash, get its key, get its value, create a new object, and put that into the appropriate place. So let's have a look at how our resize code would actually work. And our resize method is going to take a single argument, and that argument is the new size of the array. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a temporary variable that is our empty array of size, new size. Okay? And it's exactly like we've seen in our constructor. So we're going to have a linked list, hash element kv, And I'm just going to call this array, let's say, new underscore array. And here I'm just going to define it straight away, because I'm going to use it as soon as I've defined it. And my definition is exactly the same as before, where I have to make an array and then cast it to be of the right kind, of the generic kind. So here's my cast to hash element kv array. And I'm going to make it a linked list array new size. OK. This new size is this new size. That's going to be our array that's going to basically be double the size of our existing table size, usually. And then we're going to do exactly what we did in the constructor. We're going to take our array, and we're going to initiate linked lists at every position in the array. So here we go. So for int i equals 0, i is less than new size, i plus plus. New array, i is new linked list, hash element, KV. OK, so now we've got our linked lists. So we've populated our new array. So here's our new array. And we've populated it so that every position we have a head node, and at every position, head is null. Now what we want to do is iterate through each of these linked lists, get the key, get the value, create a new node, and pop it onto our existing array. So one of the ways, there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. The way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to use my iterator. And my iterator just says for k key 
in this, okay? This refers to the class that we are, and we have an iterator that iterates up through getting all of the keys. That's one of the things that you have to write for the hash. And I'm going to get my value associated with a key, and I'm going to create a new hash element I'm going to call HE, and I'm just going to get my hash element KV, key, and val. Okay, so I've got my key, I get my value, and I make a new hash element. Another way you can do that is to go to the linked list, remove that object, and add it on. And this way we're making a whole new object. It's probably not going to take a, make much difference um, to the complexity of the code. It definitely makes no difference to the actual operation of the code. It's not going to make much difference either. Because as you'll see, we'll just replace one array with the other in a second. Now I've got to figure out where my hash element has to go in my new array. Okay. We've already seen the add method for a hash, and it's basically the same as that. So we're going to say int hash val is key dot hash code. And remember, we get the hash code. We make it positive. And then we mod it. And here we have to mod it not on table size, which is the size of our old table, but we mod it on new size, the size of our new table, right? And then we just say new array hash val. So we're calling the linked list add method, and we're going to add this hash element that we've just created right here. And we just do that for all of the keys and all of the values. Okay. Once we've done this, we've now got two copies of our data structure. We've got the original one, and we've got the new one. We just want to get rid of the original one, replace it with a new one. And our original data structure was called hash array. That's our globally scoped variable. Remember, this new array variable is only scoped within this resize method. So here we make our hash array point to our new array. And then the other thing we need to remember how to do is to set table size which is our globally scoped variable for the table size that we need when we're doing anything associated with a key. And we're going to set that to be the new size. And that's it. We've resized our hash. Okay. So when we add things to the hash, we need to check the load factor, check whether it exceeds max load factor, and if it does, we just figure out what we want the new size to be, probably twice the size of table size, and call resize. That will create a new array. It will move everything over, and it will return that new array uh, populated with all the existing data. So obviously, adding things to a hash can get expensive if you're adding a lot of things, because you're going to have to copy everything over and make duplicates. And that's why in our constructor we allow for a table size, because we allow the user to say, you know what, I'm going to immediately populate you with 5,000 things or 10,000 things. And so I don't want you to go and double. Or I'm going to immediately populate you with 20 things. And so you can just have a small array. Okay. And that's one of the, the, um, the downsides of using chaining for 
avoiding collisions in hashes is that as you start adding things and adding things, you have to um, resize the array by doubling and making a copy of all of the data.